Hey guys, it's Sunday, which means we are at an active recovery day for at home fitness with Coach A. This is the YouTube channel that aims to bring you guys in gym quality coaching and workouts for your at home and garage gym needs. Now, when I say active recovery, what I'm referring to is moving more than likely, uh, but not moving in the context of a workout that we are going to have to recover from in and of itself. Uh, let's talk about uh, who should be doing this and how you should be doing this. If you haven't worked out a significant number of the last six days, then feel free to grab one of the workouts from the rest of the week and perform it for today's workout. If you have been doing the workouts regularly, there's two contexts to this. The first one is if you're an everyday workout kind of person, then more than likely you probably need a full active or a full recovery day, excuse me, not active, but passive. Uh, in which case the first option, option A, that you're going to see and hear me speak about is probably the day for you. Why? Because you're spending the whole week breaking down muscular tissue. Uh, by doing the workouts, you're literally creating damage, right? Which is part of the equation. We need to do that in order to uh, rebuild those tissues and to create growth or gains, whatever you might want to call them, uh, increase strength, things like that. So, um, if we are not giving ourselves the proper rest that we would need, the proper recovery we would need, that stuff's never gonna get built back up anyway. Therefore, you're never gonna see the gains that you're working your butts off for because your body isn't able to heal, recover, and show you those gains. Therefore, full recovery day. If we are working, working out many days a week, but we are taking days off during the week, specifically not today, then this could possibly be more of an active recovery day. In which case, options B, C, and D may be more for you. Uh, stick around and I will speak about those in a second. All right, option A, a full recovery day, which means we do not do anything, let alone everything. Sit down, take a load off, rest, relax, recover. Does not mean you are forced to be stuck in bed. It just means you need to take a day off. All right, our first actual active recovery day option, option B, is going to be steady state cardio. 20 to 60 minutes is not necessarily equal for everybody. I have a pretty high aerobic threshold. I do not run for very much longer than 20 minutes ever. So I'm not gonna go out on a 60 minute, even at 60% intensity, which is the threshold we wanna stay under for our active recovery day. I am not gonna go out for a 60 minute run at 60% and call that active recovery because that is going to take a lot out of me. Now, this could be any of the basic cardiovascular activities, using the rowing machine, using a ski erg, um, riding a bike, et cetera, going for a hike, just keep it at or below 60% intensity the entire time. You should be able to have a conversation with whatever you're doing. This will allow the body to flush out lactic acid and help aid the recovery process without forcing us to recovery from this specific activity. Option C is going to be yoga or mobility to improve our flexibility range of motion, uh, lengthen those muscle tissues, help them recover, relax, all of those good things. So what we're looking at here can be anywhere from 20 to 60 minutes. Uh, 60 minutes might seem kind of long, but if you guys are going to a slow-paced yoga class, it is probably going to last 60 minutes anyway. Now, it can be in a class atmosphere, such as a yoga studio, or it can be alone at home. It can be programmed based on a mobility session site or something along those lines, or it can be by feel, meaning you're basically feeling out what hurts and you're working on that as you go. All right, guys, our last active recovery option here, option D, is going to be called performance care. Performance care is a term that was started by Active Life uh, that essentially means we are working on the quality of movement that our body can perform uh, by focusing on things that improve range of motion, increase our flexibility, uh, maybe some light aerobic cardio activity. You could see some light running uh, rowing, quality rowing, quality ski erging, stuff like that here. Uh, you can also actually see some strength work uh, specifically geared towards uh, promoting uh, balance, uniformity, things like that. Maybe we have a stronger right hip than left hip. That's one of the things we could work on here. Maybe our 
quad and our step ups are off. So we're stepping up much stronger on our right leg than we are on our left. Uh, maybe we lack range of motion on one side versus the other. You might see some mobility or flexibility movements here. Uh, but basically this is kind of like a quality AMRAP, if you will. You're going to go for about 20 to 30 minutes, uh, mostly because anything beyond that, you're probably just working on too many things at once. Um, but it can obviously go longer. But the idea here is, what do I need to do to promote recovery, to increase my range of motion improvements, and also allow myself to move better tomorrow and the rest of the week versus today?